Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Frank Mugisha is one of the leading LGBTQ rights activists to come from Uganda, who has been helping to create safer spaces for LGBTQ Ugandans since 2004, and has been incredibly visible on the world stage since. Though Mugisha has been openly gay since his teen years, his advocacy would begin while he was attending college, creating forums for gay Ugandans of university age to meet. Soon after, Frank Mugisha would join the premier Ugandan LGBT rights organization, SMUG, and become a national leader for peace and human rights. Currently, he is the executive director of SMUG, Sexual Minorities Uganda, the leading LGBTQ rights organization in the country, working beside other co-founders and leaders like Victor Mukasa, Sylvia Tamali, and Pepe Julian Onzima. SMUG has been instrumental in pulling together resources with other Ugandan organizations and businesses to fight anti-LGBTQ legislation in Uganda since 2007 and has been the global face for LGBTQ justice in one of East Africa's most populated countries. Smug is based in Kampala, Uganda's capital and largest city, where there has been a steady increase in anti-LGBT legislation and rhetoric since the organization was formed. In 2011, one of Smug's most influential leaders, David Cato, was brutally unalived, sending shockwaves through the organization. And now, even in recent interviews, Mukisha has admitted that the atmosphere for LGBTQ Ugandans has become worse due to the rising popularity of American evangelical Christianity in the country. The same year, Mukisha would be awarded the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Award for his work with Smug, and would soon after gain many more accolades for being the face of a movement that put his own life and safety at risk. Not only was Mugisha honored by BET, or Black Entertainment Television, as one of the 10 most influential LGBTQ people in 2014, he was also nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize for his advocacy for LGBTQ Ugandans. Currently, the Anti-Homosexuality Act, which was signed into law in 2023, makes advocating for LGBTQ rights in Uganda punishable by up to 20 years in prison, and there are even provisions for the death penalty. This is incredibly troubling news, and, and definitely a step backwards for human rights on the global stage. What many may not see now is that the war on gender, race, and other minority groups are all connected, and if LGBTQ people are criminalized, it will only be a matter of time before harsher punishments for women and other minorities increase in these areas, as history constantly has shown us time and time again. Like many of the Ugandans, nearly half the population in fact, Frank Mugisha is a practicing Catholic and saw his faith that Ugandan people will wake up to the truth that Ugandan LGBTQ people are no Western import and that in fact Western homophobia is the real import. LGBTQ rights and the incredibly harsh legislation that has come from the Ugandan government has constantly put Uganda at the forefront of this topic in East Africa, but it's reassuring to know that there are Ugandans like Frank Mugisha and his colleagues who educate the public.